meet you. That was me, right? Yeah. I'm Takatsuki Yayui. I'm 14 years old, and um, I'm a brand new idol. Um, what is it, Otsunashi-san? Ah! If my voice is too loud, it might ruin the recording? Ah! I'm so sorry! But, um, yeah, it's just the way I do things. I always try my hardest at all my work with all my energy all the time. Which might not actually be a whole lot of work right now, unfortunately. But my dream is to someday become an amazing idol that can spread smiles and energy to everybody around. Everywhere. I'm not that good at singing and dancing yet either. But I promise I'll keep practicing and do everything I can to improve from now on. I'm really looking forward to working with you. She bows with her whole body. <laughs> hey, bang, bow. What was that? Izumi's phone. Uh, I am gonna fix that. So Please do again. Ho <laughs> ho! I see you've elected to manage Takatsuki Yayoi kun. I must say, that little bundle of energy is forthright, tenacious, and pretty much impossible not to love. <laughs> so I've heard. Seems like it would be an absolute thrill to work with her. Indeed. I can vouch for her I can vouch for her strength of fuck. Rounds <laughs> of fuck. I can vouch for her strength of character personally. <laughs> I sense great potential for growth within her, and it's my pleasure to task you with helping her to actualize it. I believe Yayoi kun should be at the supermarket right about now. You can head over there and get acquainted. Your term commences immediately thereafter. <clears throat> Understood, sir. Okay, this is the right supermarket, isn't it? But I don't see any sign of anything out of the ordinary. Is my new idol really working a gig here? Maybe I misunderstood something. Bum, 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 bum. That's more like a... Wee -hoo, wee -hoo. <laughs> okay. Hi, <laughs> Travis. Hey! Hey, Travis. Hi. Wee you, wee you, wee you. What is that? Oh, is it just starting now? Go ahead, Kage. Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time super. <laughs> I can't read. Attention shoppers! Our daily lit. Fuck. No! <laughs> Shut up, Yuri! I don't have a lot of lines in this episode. Give me this. Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time super sale starts now. See you at the front. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Or it could be the limited time sale starting that all the housewives are currently stampeding towards and I should probably get out of the way now. Well, somehow I managed to evade the human tsunami by the skin of my teeth. It's weird, though. One of those voices sounded awfully young and cutesy to be a housewife, I feel like. There's that cutesy voice again. She's emerged from the people pile. Probably not a mom, but definitely the girl from the video I'm looking for. I'll take it. Um, excuse me, miss. You wouldn't happen to be Yayoi Takatsuki, would you? Later, Travis. Bye, Travis! Hi! Uh, yes, that's me. Uh, do you work here, mister? What? Um... Yes. 
No, I, I think you're mistaken. I, uh... Oh, So then I really was mistaken! I had a feeling 30 yen seemed way too cheap for flour. Oh, I should have known it was too good to be true. What? No, n no, no, I wasn't talking about the flour. I meant you're mistaken about me working here. I, I don't. <clears throat> My name's Hana Uta from 765 Production. And President Takagi just assigned me to be your new producer. Effective immediately. He must have told you at some point the agency would be getting a new producer soon. Right? Well, yeah, I did. So then... Ah! Does that mean you're gonna be my producer? Oh, wow, wow! Thank you, thank you so much! I never ever thought I'd get my very own producer! <laughs> I'm glad to see how happy it makes you. Here's hoping we work well together. Where's her heart on her sleeve, this one? She just seems like an all-around good kid. I think I was right. She really will be a thrill to work with. Incidentally, Miss, um, actually, is it all right with you if I just call you Yayoi? Oh yeah! I don't mind that at all! Anytime you want, feel free to just shout out my name as loud as you like! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then, answer me this, Yayoi. What's an idol like yourself doing in a supermarket? with a whole cart full of flour. No, oh, this? Well, wheat flour is a very versatile food, you know. You can transform it into any kind of main dish or side dish you want. And it was on sale, so I decided to stock up. Yes, I can see that. So that's what I misunderstood. It wasn't a gig, you're just here shopping. But, um, don't tell me you're planning on eating all that flour all by yourself. Of course there's no way I could eat it all alone. But with all the people in my house, it'll be gone before you know it. I have a big family. Oh, must be a very big family. I'm impressed you're taking care of the grocery shopping yourself in that case. You seem quite dependable for your <coughs> age. Uh, are you the oldest child? I sure am. Since I'm the big sister, I have to help look after everyone. That's why I'm working as an idol, to hopefully bring in a little extra money. Aww. I see. Well, if I may say so. Now that I know your family's counting on you, I don't intend to disappoint them. I hope you're ready for me to put you to work extra hard. Absolutely! I finally got my first producer today, so yeah, I am ready to work. I'm ready more than I've ever, ever been before. of hers at the agency, I'm assuming? Or maybe rivals? So in return, please take good care of me, producer. Promise? Cross my heart and hope to die. Hit me with your best uh, high five! Uh, uh, oh, is this how you like to make a promise? Alright, yeah, high five! <laughs> I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> well, yay! I have to go take this flower to the register. I'll be back in a bit. So wait for me, okay? <laughs> Bundle of energy is right. She's bright and cheerful, optimistic and tenacious. <coughs> she really she really does have the potential to become a top idol. And I am going to raise her to be one with my own two hands if it's the last thing I do. <sighs> a tranquil end to a perfect day. Congratulations, we've completed our first schedule. I think we're able to get a lot of good work done today, so thank you very much! Well, you're welcome. And thank you, Yayui. You've had a long day. But I'm not out of energy yet, you know? I'm not even a little tired. I've still got enough in me to run the whole ten whole laps around the building! <laughs> I, I, uh, I see. Well, uh, just throwing this out there, but you really don't have to do that much. Today was extremely productive already, trust me. <laughs> yeah, it really was. I 
couldn't believe how much time had passed before I even knew it. I think being together with you was what made the day feel so much shorter. I feel having a producer would be a whole lot different than working alone. Really? Well, thank you. I'm happy to hear it. When I know it... When I know I ended up helping you out so much, that's what makes my job really worth doing. There's still a lot of things I'm not good at yet, but I'm excited because that means there's even more things I get to learn from your teaching. And I'm going to try even harder from now on, so I hope we'll always get to keep working together lots, lots more. We will, Yayui. We've got a long and challenging road ahead of us, and there's no telling what'll happen along the way. But no matter what happens, at least we'll always be together. Yeah. You okay? Mm -hmm. As long as we cooperate, I'm confident we can work it out. Hey, that's right. Well, we're always we're always going to be together from now on, anyway, aren't we? Yes, we are. And between you and me, there won't be anything that can stop us. Well, do try to calm down. Right now, it's time for you to go home and get some good rest. <laughs> okay. But I really am glad, producer. I don't have to be an idol all alone anymore, do I? No, Yayoi. Neither of us are alone anymore. We're too strong now. And together, we're going to turn you into a top idol. Kagami can do her perfectly. Oh hey, we actually get the day off tomorrow. <laughs> we actually get the day off tomorrow for a change. Maybe I can even go grocery shopping and tend to the matter of my continued existence. The next day. <laughs> Alright, I know I was hoping I'd sleep well last night, but 16 hours straight is a little too well. No sooner do I wake up than, surprise, it's evening! So much for a productive day off. Excuse me, can I please get four of those 30% off salmon, mister? No, wait, make that five! Hmm? Now that voice, now that voice sounds familiar. I wonder... Yayoi? Is that you? Uh, uh, producer? Uh, is it really that shocking to see me? Okay. But anyway, hey, pop quiz. Goodbye, Yayoi. <laughs> good morning, Yayoi. Uh-uh. Uh, good morning to you too, producer. That was an aha, uh -huh, not an uh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Aha. Very good. It may clearly be evening, but you went and greeted me with good morning without a second thought anyway. That's the mark of a fully fudged professional idol right there, Yayui. I'm impressed. Nah, really? You're kind of making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> so... What are you out shopping for today? Oh, today's the day of the month that my whole family throws a great big party, so I'm going shopping for that. A big party with the whole family once a month? Wow, I didn't realize you guys did that. Sounds pretty extravagant. <laughs> yep, because we only pick one day out of the month to be so extravagant. Speaking of which, last month we threw a potato party. A potato party. So, it's not so much a party as just one night of having nothing but potato dishes to eat. And they consider that a luxury? Well, now I'm heartbroken. Uh, yeah, sure, sounds tasty. Well, nothing else, probably. Far and away healthier than my eating habits, at any rate. Hmm? What are you talking about, producer? Should I take that to mean you eat unhealthy things all the time? 
Uh, relatively speaking, I suppose. I, I mean, when you're as busy as I am, it's kind of tough to... Uh, uh. Something the matter, Yayui? Producer! Bad! You have to remember to get proper nutrition! I'd like you to come over to my house right away, please. Uh, wait, 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 what's going on? Uh, I understand your point about nutrition, but what does that have to do with me coming over? Just come over, and you'll get it. Come on, please, hurry, hurry, hurry! Uh, yay, what's gotten into you? Since when are you so pushy? That, and don't pull on me either! Some indefinite amount of time later, I found myself dragged to Yayui's house. <laughs> Something about this house... How can I put it? You can really feel the history behind it, I guess. Let's see. It's already almost six o'clock, just about time for Katada and Josuke to get me getting home. So... As soon as we got here, Yayui just stopped, stopped minding my presence completely. I still don't know what she wants me to do. Uh, hey, Yayui, um, I just have a quick question, if I may. What exactly did you bring me here for again? Dinner, of course. And it's gonna, going to be actually good for you, so please stay and eat with us. Oh, now it all makes sense. You just really wanted me to eat something healthy for a change. So, so wait, you're not the one cooking, are you? I, I, I was going to, but I mean, would you rather I didn't? Well, that's a silly question, Yayui. No way would I rather you didn't! You would seriously be willing to treat me to your homemade cooking? I would be so happy and grateful! It's like... <laughs> Well then, it won't be too much longer until you're, it's ready, so please just wait a little while. I'm back, sis! Little boy. Uh, where? What do you mean? I'm back too! Ah! Welcome back, Chosuke and Kotaro! Chosuke and Kotaro, hmm? Must be Ayui's little brothers. Huh? That's weird. Whose shoes are these? Oh, hey, Dad must be home from work already. For real? Cool! Quit it, you two! Those shoes belong to our visitor. Don't touch them. A visitor? Wow, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Did he come over to play with us? <laughs> I appreciate your consideration, Yayui, but you don't have you don't have to send them away. If they want to play with me, I really don't mind. Uh you sure? It wouldn't be too much trouble? Of course not. I don't mind looking after your brothers while you concentrate on getting the party ready until it's time to start, okay? I just don't want you to feel like you have to treat me with any special delicacy, Yayui. I mean We've known each other for months, and as long as we're here, I'd kind of like you to think of me as, well, maybe another family member rather than just a strange guest. Would that be too much to ask? Um, you want me to think of you as family, producer? Well, yes. We see each other almost every day. We all want what's best for each other, and we work hard together for it. And I trust you and our other team members with all my heart. And if you girls happen to trust me in turn, well then... How does that make us any different from a family? That's, that's what I think, at least. For you, sir. <laughs> You're right. When you put it that way, I think you really might be just like family to me. <laughs> and that being the case, you shouldn't have to feel like you're being impolite if there's a favor you need to ask of me. Anything at all. It's no big deal for family, right? Great! I'll go right ahead and ask then! Uh, for 
producer, could you take care of Chosky and Kotato and go pick up my other brother, Koji, from the park near here, please? Go away, cars. <clears throat> sure, you got it. And after that, maybe go out to our back garden with my little sister, Kasumi, and pick some spinach? Okay, not a problem. And, 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 it's almost time for Kozo's diaper to be changed. So if you and Kasumi could do that... I, um, uh, hang on. Well, she certainly held me to my word. Dropped any semblance of polite Japanese restraint and asked me to do all kinds of chores. It really did feel like she was treating me like family, though. I was a little surprised how easily it came to her. After that, I spent some time with her little brothers and their relentless kick- I mean, amiable company. The party began well into the evening. Please eat as much as you want, producer. This is a special Tchaikovsky family recipe. The Super Mix-a-Lot Hot Pot. <laughs> Mix-a-Lot is right. What didn't you throw in here? But s still, it looks delicious, Yayui. I am thoroughly impressed. <laughs> you mean you really think so? I mean, it is a little out of season, but... Maybe it's a good thing I decided to make it after all. Uh, look! Look, she's blushing! <laughs> Chosuke bad! Be quiet and eat your food! Hey, producer guy, don't you dare spoil our big sis, not even when she's trying to be cute. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Oh, I'm really sorry they keep being so rude to you, producer. <laughs> don't worry about it. I hardly get any chances to enjoy dinner with a family anymore. I'm having a great time. That's great. I love spending time with my family, too. It's like... Just being with them makes anything we do the best thing ever, I think. That's why I'm enjoying my work now more than ever, too, because we all get to do it together. <laughs> no, I was I was talking about how my family's full of assholes. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's well. not get into that. Let's move on. Well Let's we're we're all family now, so... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it I really makes... I mean, make... I'm a bitch, but... Families can sometimes be bitches. You don't make me feel like the family failure. Anyway. My biological family are assholes, and my adopted family is a bitch. <laughs> I just, you, you just have terrible luck. Yeah. Yeah. It really makes me happy to hear that, Yayui. But, speaking of everyone being together, where are your mom and dad? Was it okay for us to start eating without them? Also, do you normally have to look after everyone and do all these chores all by yourself? Isn't that tough? Well, mom and dad have had to work until late recently, so... But it's fine. That's just the way it has to be. Family is supposed to help each other out, so I'm okay. <laughs> Yayoi is incredible. She works so hard all the time. For the unit's sake at work, and then for her family's sake at home. I don't know how she does it. And that's why reminds me of Yayoi. I kept finding excuses to stick around Yayoi's place until 10 at night, but... I still didn't see any sign of her parents. I think I'd better get going, Yayui. Sorry to have stayed so late. And thank you again for dinner. It was really good. <laughs> it's no big deal, producer. In fact, all of us would love to have you come over for a visit again sometime. Bye! Bye. Well... Managed to have an enjoyable day off after all, thanks to Yayui. It's on me to find some way to return the favor now, though. 
Sure, I can't cook that. Sure, I can't cook that well, but hopefully I can at least find something simple and nutritious to make for her. Ritsuka! Oh boy, he really got us good this time. GG producer. But don't think we're gonna just sit down and let you run away with the Grand Prix either. It's only just starting to get interesting now that you finally caught up with us. We wouldn't have it any other way, Ritsuko. You've hardly seen the best of what we have to offer, right Yayoi? You bet! We're gonna keep on working and improving even more and more so we can take the Grand Prix someday! <laughs> well, listen to you talk the talk. Atta girl, Yayui-chan. That's exactly the sort of attitude you need to take if you expect to get any results. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am the leader, for now anyway. So I've been doing my best to keep up a sharp attitude for everybody. Sharp like this. Ha, <laughs> 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 ah, I see you've really awakened to your sense of responsibility as leader. It's great. Well, here's hoping to keep on proving to be good rivals for each other. Yeah! <laughs> you know, as long as you're not too hard on us. But still, to think all of you have already managed to make it this far in just ten weeks. Honestly, it's a bit of a shocker. Maybe so. But that's only because producers spend so much time teaching us all kinds of things and we all work together to finally make it happen. I see. A victory for teamwork, in other words. You know, that'd be fan a fantastic example for my little party to learn from. Oh, I know. Hey, producer, how would you like to do me a favor and call up Yugu Komachi's members as guests for one of your lives sometime? What? <coughs> are you... Are you sure that wouldn't be a favor from you to us? That would be totally amazing! Sweet, then it's settled. I'm sure there'll be plenty for you all to learn from each other. Any objections from you, Yayoi? Uh, uh, are you kidding? If they wanted to play on stage with us, I'd say welcome, welcome, welcome! Especially Yori-chan! Oh my gosh, it'd make the show so much more exciting for our fans, too! To see us put our differences aside and unite for a common cause! <laughs> Watching you unite for a common cause is exciting? Ugh. Either my ears are thoroughly broken, or they really did just hear someone actually say something asinine enough to give me motion sickness. Hey, you with the face. Don't think I didn't hear that just now. Wouldn't you say that was just a tiny bit uncalled for? Oh, great. First an asinine pipsqueak, and now a pain in the ass to go with her. Could this day get any worse? Pain in the... You kiss your mother with that mouth? A simple apology would have sufficed. What the hell is your problem? Hey, hey, beats go. Try to settle down a bit. There's no need to yell quite so loud in public. I recognize this guy from the TV studio lobby that one time. Guess he has even worse of an attitude problem than I remember. Oopsie. Did I hurt the little one's feelings, too? <laughs> My bad. But likewise, I don't remember saying anything that was meant to be mean, either. It's just... you know... Who in their right mind could help but chuckle a bit at that gullible sappiness you were spouting earlier? And what gullible sappiness would that be? Oh, just that something or other about unity or teamwork or whatever. <laughs> Yep, made me laugh again. What's so funny about that? It doesn't sound like anything weird to me. Then let me bring you up to speed, fun size. When you get down to it, power is the only thing that decides any contest in this world. Singing, dancing, appearances, anything. Get it? Uh, no, I don't get it. And don't call me fun size! 
Meaning, your worth depends on how much talent you have, and that alone. I've heard all that BS before, about teamwork and friendship and strength from the heart or whatnot. But those are all just excuses made up by losers to delude themselves into thinking they have a shot at winning. That's it! I've heard enough of your bullying! The only delusional one here is you, with your made-up excuse to talk down to us like you know so much better! Hey, hey, producer! Now you're the one who's getting a little too excited! Remember what you told me about shouting in public? <sighs> Sorry. Guess we all have our breaking points. No one can hear you like that, you know. If you got something to say, why not try coming right out with it? I said it's not true! You have no right to call us losers! Your heart is one of the most important things you can put into something. And you better watch out, because if you don't even know something as obvious as that, then I think you're the one everybody's going to be laughing at. Guess you got more backbone than you look like, kiddo. At least you're an interesting little shrimp. Even if you still have the brain of one. But hey, if you'd rather just sit there patting each other on the back all day, I don't mind leaving you to your suicidal tendencies. Not like it'll ever be my problem. You really do think you know better than us. Just who are you supposed to be, anyway? And why should we listen to you tell us how to do our jobs? Giving you a name would be pointless. If you actually manage to stick around that long, you'll be finding out for yourself soon enough. Like it or not. Soon enough, huh? Just what are you insinuating? No, oh, not beyond any... No, oh, not anything beyond exactly what I said, I think. But it hardly matters, since I'm sure you mayflies will be out of here in no time. Nice knowing you. Come on! Even a t not even a tactless parting shot? Did he walk out of a freaking comic book or something? How could anyone actually be such an over-the-top douchebag? Hey, you think that guy's an idol too? We better find out his agency if so. Hey, Yayoi, you shouldn't take anything that guy said to heart. Trust me on this. Whatever he talked, you could tell he was really sure of himself. He was just actively trying to be intimidating, for whatever reason. I'll admit there is something singular about his attitude, though, especially in this country. But even if he's not your average Joe, we don't know who he is, and worrying about it won't accomplish anything. How about we just get back to the office? I'm sure everyone must be waiting for us by now. Okay. Oh, fun size, hips, freak, shrimp. I'll be right back. Do you need me for the scene? Um. No, you just need me. I was gonna run down and grab a drink and something for my head. Okay. <coughs> I'm we sorry. Don't. Okay, I'll be right back. It kind of makes me think. So yeah, you is a tall, full metal out, full metal pit squeak. No. 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 But. No! No! Thomas, <laughs> that's <coughs> You okay? Yep, okay, hold on, I have to get my bitch face voice completely. <laughs> there it is. I fucking always have- I have to do a laugh to be a bitch face friend! It's- oh my god, it, it's like a Shiro in Fate Stay Night saying Trace On to power up his magic. Seriously? Seriously? Yeah, cause he, he, he can't concentrate on it unless he says that, and he, he knows, he explains to himself, it's not even any kind of magic spell or anything, it's just what he has to say in order to get himself concentrating. It kind of makes me think with Yami in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, he has to say, uh, it's time to do 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 like, <laughs> and that's the only way he'll get in the, I don't know, it's so stupid now. Yu-Gi-Oh! It's time to do 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 do
I do know her. She talks in riddles. She does potions. She goes, oh, you had this. Guess what? You're stuck with that. Bye. All right. Are we ready? Okay, fine. <sighs> so tired. Way too much happened today. <sighs> Including fucking loud Fuck cars you. driving down the street. <laughs> but at least it feels like we finally start to make some real progress. Ah! There you are! Glad I caught up with you. <laughs> Good job today, by the way. Yori? Oh, uh, good job today to you, too? You! I saw that flinch. Ugh. That gives acting so... No, 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 no. What gives? Yeah. Acting so intimidated by Yori-chan, the ultimate picture of loveliness? No, 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 it's just, uh, you lost to us today, so I thought you'd be, well... Mad at me still, or? <gasps> What'd you take me for? A petty, ultimate, pretty picture, <laughs> ultimate picture of lo loveliness? Of course I'm not mad. Why would I waste my time getting mad when I can just make sure we win next time instead? Besides, the fans were clearly enjoying themselves. Yes, that's what we idols are here for. As long as we spread happiness to others, we all win. You're so full of shit. <laughs> wow. I am impressed with your attitude, Iori. Such professionalism. I can see now why you were hand-picked by Ritsuko. I guess that big forehead of yours isn't just for show. What? Hey! Don't bring up crap that has nothing to do with this, any of this, this with anything! Besides, I cover it up with my hair, so... You can't even say it's all that big. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you actually try to cover it up. I just... Never mind. Sorry, I said it without thinking. Uh, anyway, was there something you needed to speak to me about? You know, as much as she tries to cover it up with her hair, she had more bangs in the first game. <laughs> oh, oh, right, right. Jeez. Now, and... Now it's your fault she had to wait this long, you know. Come on, Yayui. Come on out. Aw, Yori-chan, I kept telling you you didn't have to do this. Aren't you being a little too pushy? Yayui? Wait, she brought you here? Is there something you need to speak to me about? No, never mind. It really is nothing. See you later. Bye. Uh, yeah, you we, at the least you could do when uh, the least you could do could uh, the least you could do when I agreed to help out is actually hey, I said get back here. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I'm not sure I understand what's going on here, Yori. Um. Does Yayui want something that she's having trouble asking of me? Uh. Like, did she want me to treat her to dinner or anything? Eh, wrong answer! In fact, it was just about the complete opposite of anything you could, could have said that would have made sense. What are you? Oh, come on. It was a reasonable guess, and you didn't even ask me the question yourself. You can't tear into me that much for getting it wrong. But it is at least something remotely related to dinner. So I suppose I can, uh, suppose I can be... Magnanimous. Magnanimous and tell you the right answer. And yes, she did have something she wanted to ask you that being to come over to her, uh, that being to come over to her house and have dinner with her. Oh. I wonder what the big deal is, then. She had no problems inviting me over for dinner a few weeks ago. She did so rather forcefully, in fact. 
Yeah, so from what I can tell, she seems to have been anxiously waiting to invite you over again lately. Hmm. Which would make sense, considering she just will not shut up about how much fun she had last time. But apparently, she's not entirely comfortable asking you straight out. Uh-huh. I wonder why that is. She should know I wouldn't mind her being up front with me. Oh my god, obviously! She thinks you're too busy for it and is trying not to overstep herself. Do you not even know the rules of polite society? You should have worked that uh, you should have worked that out on your own for her a long time ago. Seriously. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. This is important, and I ended up needing you to tell me. <sighs> I do appreciate the help, though, Yori. Whatever! It was nothing, and I didn't even do any of it for you. The only reason I'm doing this is to make Yayui happy. Got it, Baka? <laughs> All right, then. I guess I'll be over there again tomorrow. I'm planning on treating her to my cooking this time, This time, though, to return the favor. You do that. Oh, and uh, whatever you make, I'll be expecting... I'll be... Ex the, I'll be expecting there to be enough for me, too. See you tomorrow at Yayoi's house. What? Ciao. Wait, you mean you're coming over, too? Hey! <coughs> Okay, fine. Just run off then. The next, the next day. day. <laughs> um, I think my favorite racing game of all time is the Mario Kart series. Gosh. But I also like fast racing Neo. There's another fast game for the Switch. I gotta check that out sometime. Mario. Mario Kart. <laughs> Come on in, producer. Take a seat. Um, I'm sorry for what happened last night. <laughs> Stop it, Yayui. This is your house, not a restaurant. I'm the one who should apologize for dropping by so suddenly. But I wanted to make something for you and your family today to thank you for last time. How does Chinese fried rice sound? You're gonna make us make dinner for all of us, producer? Sure. Even someone like me can't mess up stir-frying vegetables and meat for a few minutes too badly. I hope. Well, I'm honored you would feel that way, but I just hope you're not too disappointed once you see the finished product. Hmm. Imagine food prepared by you of all people. Let's hope it's at the very least edible. Oh, and the life of the party's here already. Hey, Iori chan no! As long as you're under my house, you're not allowed. Under my house? As long as you're under <laughs> So apparently Yodi is now the Wicked Witch of the East. <laughs> I don't have ruby shoes! Slippers. Whatever. Nor am I chasing after him and her dog. She doesn't have one. The Wicked Witch of the East never chases after That was Nessa! Look! I don't know things! <laughs> I was raised in a spoiled house! Uh, minus one for Princess Iori. Yayoi doesn't hold anything back when she's ticked off. Not even against her best friend. Um, so, what should I do then? Is there anything I can do to help out? Oh, um, not really. You just sit there and relax. Tonight it's my turn to do all the cooking. You heard him, Yayoi. He's offering, so you need to take the opportunity to unwind every once in a while. But, yeah, okay. Then I'll just be doing homework or something. So please call me if you need me. Uh, hey. Yori, did something about Yayui seem a little off to you just now? You may be on to something there. Maybe she secretly hates Chinese fried rice, or maybe she secretly hates you. 
Hmm. I wonder which it is. What? Well, forget about the rice. We've got a huge problem if she secretly hates me. I'm over at her house for crying out loud. Oh! Hi, Yayui. Forget something? No, it's just... I mean, our kitchen is kind of small, and it might be harder for you to dig the pots and pans out of it and... Uh... Yeah... Come to think of it... Maybe I was getting ahead of myself, thinking I could use someone else's kitchen just like that. <clears throat> yeah, that! So, um... Maybe if you'd... I could... Oh, boy. She's got something she's trying to say again. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Alright, Yayui. How'd you like to come with me and... Dance. <laughs> Play outside. Help cook. Would that be okay with you? Yes! I'd be very happy to help if you'll let me. Uh, I knew it would come to this. And when you say help, you really mean Yayui. Do everything for me. Am I right? No. Do I look like Sergeant Foley? <laughs> Come on, Yori chan You can help us out, too. Wouldn't it be lots more fun to have everyone helping out together? Well, we're gonna have to get started soon, one way or another, before everyone gets too hungry. You coming or what, Yori? Well, if your heart truly yearns to indulge in the great pleasures of my company, that much, then clearly I have no choice. I suppose it wouldn't kill me to help you out? Yori was trying to be talking there for a second there. <laughs> Yeah, to indulge in the great pleasure of my company. Look, I just hang around with her a lot. She... <laughs> See, She's the... not even in her unit. Ah! Same building! The <laughs> fascinating thing that I like about Iori's character is that she... She she does feel affection for other people, and she wants to express it, but the, because of uh, the... Uh, nobility she grew up under she has too much pride and uh has a stick up her ass and it's still she, she she's she's too embarrassed to express it straight out so she has to kind of hide behind her bitchy tsundere attitude like that her mask up yeah i love you and that's that's why i think that she and the producer are, are able to have that kind of dynamic between them because as much as he as much as they don't get along he's still good at reading people and he understands that about her for some reason it's funny <laughs> at the same time i don't know what <clears throat> and so we all spent the evening cooking and eating together with yayoi smiling ear to ear the whole time once again, Yayoi's siblings were all present and accounted for at dinner, with the parents being a no-show. And after we had finished eating, it came to be time for Yayoi to see us off. <laughs> I had lots and lots of fun today, producer, Iori-chan. I'm glad to hear it, Yayoi. But you didn't have to see us so far off. It's already pretty dark out. Yeah, huh? I'm just going to have Shindo. Shindo pick me up, so I should be fine from here. Thanks for having me over today, Yayi. Um, yeah, that's right. You both need to go home now, huh? Yayi? Yeah, what's, what's the matter? No, nothing. Nothing's the matter. I'll see you at the office tomorrow. Thank you for today. Good night! Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, Yui. I don't get it. What's gotten into her lately? I've never seen her act so sad to see me go like this. Hmm, you think? I don't know. You sure it's not really just you who's sad to see her go? <laughs> Well then, I'll be on my way home. Bye-bye. Hey, Yori! <sighs> Never keeps her comments to herself with me, does she? Eh, it's not like she's entirely mistaken, though. 
still, Yayui's behavior does concern me a little. I'm sure we're both a little sad to see each other go any day, but... I don't know. She's been like that this whole evening. It almost seems like... separation anxiety or something. Well, maybe I should just come back to check on her another day then. This is Yayui we're talking about. I'm sure she'll be back to her old self in no time, hopefully. <sighs> oh. Yes, uh, I forgot. One of my, uh... I lost one of my original recordings due to a software issue or something. But oh, okay. I had to... I had to borrow this one, I had to borrow this scene from the uh, same guy I do for the other girls I haven't done. Okay. Hollywood. Great. Well... Cars. <laughs> well, fortunately it's still a little too early to be thinking about that just yet. The unit needs more of my attention now. I'm just worried how the girls will react once they find out I won't be around much longer. <sighs> no, worrying about that's not going to help anything. Come on, go home. Tomorrow's another work day. The next day, on the way home from work... There we go. I am exhausted. Nope. Not even drowning myself in work is enough to make my worries magically disappear. Although, Yayoi seems to have even more on her mind than I do. <coughs> Yugu Komachi not getting nominated seems to be weighing her down in particular. I guess Sotanashi-san got around to telling them about... I guess Sotanashi-san got around to telling them about it on their way out last night. Oh, and I made that mistake where uh, the frame rate slowed down because I didn't properly encode this video. Boop. It'll only be for this scene, though. Okay. I can't do the phone. <laughs> oh, that would be Yayoi. Wonder if she wants to talk about it. Beep. Hello, this is Hana. What's up, Yayoi? It's awfully late. Did you make it home safe? Yeah, I'm home. I'm sorry to be bothering you, producer, but um, are you still working right now? No, I'm on my way home. Why? What? Just now? Oh, wow. I guess you're really busy, too, having to work until so late at night. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. At least we have the day off tomorrow. Anyway, what can I do for you, Yayoi? Let me guess. Were you feeling lonely over there and just called because you wanted someone to talk to? I can do that. No, that's not true. I, I mean, well, yeah, Mom and Dad have been coming home really late for a long time now, but... My sister and my brothers are here, all here with me, so I have no reason to be... I'm, I'm not allowed to be lonely! Y Yayoi, I didn't mean... I wasn't trying to make fun of you or anything. I I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry too, producer. I wasn't mad at you, not at all. It's just... Uh... Yayoi, seriously, is there something wrong? You're really not acting like yourself. It's really nothing. I'm not even sure why I suddenly decided to call you myself. Really. And now I'm probably making you waste money on your phone bill with an unnecessary phone call. I'm really sorry, producer. Good night. Uh, yeah, yeah, we wait! She hung up. I wonder if I should try calling her back. 
This really seems like one of those times she has something she needs to say that's just difficult to get out. <laughs> that's... Wait, who's this now? I don't recognize this number. Beep. Uh, 765 Production, this is Uta. Hey, you! I thought you could get... Try that one more time. Not what that says. Hi, you. You thought the. Hey, you. You thought you could get out of explaining this to me? I have heard the rumors. You know how you have to leave for Hollywood. <sighs> my my, word travels so fast. Incidentally, who even gave you this number, Yori? I did not authorize that. Aw, oh, come on. It doesn't take too much to make the president cave. I mean, no, forget it. That's not what we're talking about right now. So, it really is true that. That's a shame. I know how happy Ritsuko, uh, Ritsuko's been to finally have a fellow producer around ever since you started. A pretty lame producer, maybe, but I'll take what I can get, she told me once. <laughs> really, now? Am I supposed to be happy to hear that? There are a number of ways I could take that, I think, but funny, they all end with me being sad. Oh, um, I, I was sorry to hear you didn't get nominated too. I know you were so close, weren't you? But... Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you just have bad luck with these things, and there's nothing you can do about it. Besides, the world has hardly seen the last of Yugo Kalachi. Yugo Kalachi. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Good to st good to see you still so positive, proactive, and professional even after everything that's happened. Very admirable of you, Yori. <laughs> Duh! Who do you think you're talking to? Oh, but hey, listen. I didn't go out of my way to call you up just so you could keep your praises on me. I want to know if um, you could come to the park tomorrow afternoon. This, they're just a little something you and I need to discuss regarding Yayoi. Yeah. <clears throat> Yayoi, huh? Okay. I understand. Tomorrow's our day off, so it should be fine. Should I just meet you there, then? Please. I'll actually have to sneak away from work to make it so I won't have a lot of time. But anyway, I'll see you later. I'll see you there. Got it. See Don't you worry there. About or anything. Just be there. Be doop. Nobody cares about time at the game. Huh. It's not like Yori to say please. <laughs> Certainly not to me. What could she want to discuss? If she's worried about Yayui, maybe it has something to do with whatever she was trying to tell me when she called earlier? Well, guess I'll find out when I get there tomorrow. The next day... Oh god, I forgot he's in this route. <clears throat> I think I might be a little early, but that's not Iori, is it? They're a bit too far away to tell, but I can't recall ever seeing Iori wear black. Well, whoever it is, they're headed this way. Wait a minute. Oh god. <clears throat> hey, um... Dude? I notice you've been kind of staring at me for a while now. You're not about to ask me out or anything, are ya? Cause that might be a problem. Oh, get over yourself, fruit basket. That's I was... so mean! <laughs> well, Hana takes offense to that, because he's really not into guys, considering all of the boy idols he's had experience with. I was trying to tell I was trying to tell if you were who I'm looking for, and since you're clearly not a girl named Yori, I have no business with you. Huh? Yori, huh? 
You don't mean Minase Yori-san by any chance, do ya? The Ryugu Komachi girl? Go figure, I just happened to run into someone else who knows her. What? What do you mean, someone else who knows her? There is no way you... Oh, I get it. You must be... A fan of hers, huh? Well, can't blame you for that. Yugu's pretty well known these days. Eh, fan might be a bit of a strong word, but... Eh, sure, we can go with that too. <laughs> what the hell? This kid's weird. And so are his clothes. <laughs> Remind me of a stage costume more than anything. So, how do you know Iyori-san anyway, dude? Couldn't help but notice you seem to be on a plain first name basis with her. You related? Hold oh, on, you! Since the hell when. The what? Since the, Since hell, the hell when? Since the hell when are you and I related? Yori! No, 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 he said it, not me! I'm innocent! Uh, I guess you never know what some people will say about you when they think you're not around to hear it. The love of. Mm. Oh my god. Alright, alright, I'm sorry, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. I wonder if you're really aware just how sorry you should be. Anyway, so who's the kid with the billboard forehead? Uh, oh. Hot meat kettle. Oh, Jeremy, might you be a fan of mine? Oh, I'm so sorry, but Miss Yori is on private time right now. She's not conducting public relations. Hmm, so this is the fabled Yori san, huh? First time seeing the real thing up close and in person, but I sure ain't looking at much. <gasps> oh, shit. What the hell, you little punk? Very much, I dare you to point out one thing about me that's not much to look at. I'm sorry. Look, um, whoever you're supposed to be, that was rude, and you really need to apologize. I'm not even kidding when I say your life depends on it. <laughs> sure, looks that way. All right, fine. Sorry. As for who I am, easy enough. Name's Mitarai Shota. Mitarai Shota. Hm. I know you could come at you from way, way back when I first heard about him from press. Kept saying they could become one of his most dangerous rivals someday. I was just curious to see what would make him so desperate to stamp you guys out. There's been a whole lot of shit going on under the table, you know what I'm saying? Hold it right there. Shota, was it? What's all this talk about stamping us out and under the table dealings? I happen to be a producer for Yori's agency, and you'd better not think I'll keep quiet about this. And I'm pretty sure I know exactly who is Prez of yours is supposed to be now. President Kiroi of 961 Production, yes? Oh, uh, whoops. There I go, running my mouth off too much. So, yeah, I'm gonna go now. You'll be seeing me again soon enough, though. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Hey, wait, goddammit! Ugh. We'll be seeing him again soon enough, huh? I've heard that song before, and it didn't end well the first time. Do you imagine this half-assed in the what? insinuations? I don't know who he thinks he is, but he's got a lot of answer, uh, a lot to answer for the next time I see him. For once, we share a sentiment. Felt like having to talk to that asshole Toma all over again. Which would make sense, in a way, if you were right about him being with 961. Oh, but hey, aren't you supposed to be at work right now? Whatever it is you wanted to talk, what you wanted to talk about, shouldn't we get to it? Ah, you're right. I nearly forgot. Ugh. No thanks to this certain stumbling blockhead. Ugh. So, last night, I... What? I gave Yayui a call, and, well... Here's the thing. I don't know if she ever told you, but a while back, 
she and I made a promise with each other that we'd always stick together so we could keep on being good rivals for each other right up until the end. Mm -hmm. But now all the nominees have been decided and we weren't one of them. So I wanted to call Yayui and apologize for not being able to stay in the game for her, but I... Hmm. Yori? Are you okay? I... I'm fine! Anyway, all I wanted was to ask the, and see if you know... Would Yayoi have already known about us last night? Yeah. Yeah, she would have. It was two nights ago that they all heard about it from Otanashi-san. That's what I thought. So then, could she have just been trying to cheer her, uh, cheer me up with that invitation? Hmm? What invitation are you talking about? When I called her, I didn't even get a chance to say much of anything before she got all like, let's have a party on me, out of nowhere. I was confused, but she barely let me have a word, and after that either, I was surprised she found up. Gun ho. Gun ho, she was being about it. Oh yeah, isn't it almost time for her monthly potato party with her family or whatever? Mm. It was only my atrocious eating habits that prompted her to invite me, so... It does seem a little suspicious that she would invite Iori now if she doesn't regularly. I mean, yes, Gunho may be a norm for her, and yes, she likes to cheer people up, especially me, her best friend, but this... How can I put it? This felt like the facade. Like, she was trying way too hard to force it out. It felt wrong. I see. So you got worried about her. So much so, in fact, that you even went out of your way to pull me aside and talk to me about it. <laughs> well, thank you, Iori. It really means a lot to me to see how much you care about her, even at a time like this, when you must be having it pretty rough yourself. so cute when you get embarrassed. But in all seriousness, I do appreciate you talking to me about it. <laughs> Good job, Isumi. You delivered that. You stopped that right now perfectly. Oh, no. <sighs> Thanks to you, I can more easily figure out what I need to do to better to this. <clears throat> better to that. <laughs> Thanks to you, I can more easily figure out what I need to do to take better care of her. What I, ask, what I ask, though, is this. It's all right to be worried about your friend, but I don't want you going so far out of your way again. Certainly not to the level of skipping work. Don't worry yourself sick. Live your own life, and don't feel like you have to report every little thing to me. Sorry. Oopsies. Continue. Just leave it at, we t just leave it at what we talked about today, and let me handle it. Would you do that, please? Yes, I understand. Hmm. Well, would you look at that? I knew all along that bringing this out with you would be the right choice of uh, the right course of action. I am a genius, or am I a genius, or what? <laughs> You're a prodigy. You're a prodigy, darling. You can trust me to help Yayui out with whatever might be bothering her. That is, after all, what producers do for their idols. Sure enough. Well, I should be getting back to work. But I better not catch you slacking off either, hear? I'm counting on you to take care of her. It was then I remembered how strange Yayui had sounded to me on the phone last night. It wasn't like a facade the way Yori described it. 
just like how she gets when there's something she wants to say that she can't quite bring herself to. <sighs> Given her usual disposition, it's been all too easy to pass off the time she's been feeling down as temporary, and no big deal. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure that goes for the girl herself, too. She might not even realize it. But I can't let this go on. I need to be more attentive, get to the root of the problem, and start helping her for real. Leave it to goddamn President Kurdoy to handpick the most prodigious showboats possible. And just as he already suspected, there was Shota, hanging his hat with the rest of those 961 assholes. Which means he could hardly be in any disagreement of their underhanded crusade against her. Against 765 as a whole. <laughs> Yo, dude! You're that! Producer-san guy from 765 Production, right? Told you you'd be seeing me again soon. Oh! For f***'s sake, I do not need another, another headache today, Shota! Whoa! And you remembered my name, even! Sweet! So listen, dude, I need you to hook me up with Takatsuki Yayui-chan! Well, that came out of nowhere. And it can go straight back there, for all I care. What possible business could you have with her? No, I'm just looking for my next big rival. I want to meet her up close and see what she's made of, like with the san I promise I ain't gonna accidentally be a jerk about it this time. Come on, please. Go to hell. Even if I did have the slightest inclination to do you of all people any favors, talking to you is the last thing Yayoi needs right now. Hey, uh, producer, um, can I have a minute? Oh, Feathers! Of all the worst possible times! No, 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 no! Please don't come over here! Um, sorry. Did you say something, producer? What's the matter? God damn it! Here I am trying to vehemently tell Shota to F off before he can get to Yayui, and then what? <sighs> Why does this shit always happen to me? <laughs> Man, you are a riot, 765, dude! This is one show I can never get tired of watching. Well, on to business. Hey there, Yayui-chan. I'm Mitsurai Shota from Jupiter. Nice to meet ya. Uh, you're from 961 Productions? <clears throat> Good morning, Mitsurai-san. I'm Takatsuki Yayui. Yayui, stop it! I do not want you talking to him! Why not? He introduced himself to me politely, so I thought I had to at least do it back? Well, under normal circumstances you'd be correct, but this one's a, 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 a special case. Look, I'm really sorry, but I need you to go back over there for three minutes, okay? Okay, producer. I'll count exactly three minutes. 180, 179, 178, 177. Hey, Yayui-chan! You know we're in the same year in school, you and I, right? You can just call me Shodakun. See ya! I SAID DON'T TALK TO HER! I REFUSE TO LET A TWO-FACED BASTARD LIKE YOU PRETEND TO BE HER FRIEND, KNOWING FULL WELL SHE'S TOO INNOCENT TO KNOW THE DIFFERENCE! Yayui is an honest, loving girl who knows nothing of the corruption and duplicity you and your boss deal in on a daily basis, and she doesn't need to learn it from you! Dude! Are you done? Cause I take offense to just about everything in that statement! I seriously got nothing but praise for Yayui-chan, but if you're gonna go all ape shit on me... Yes, I can just imagine what your brand of praise must be. Hey man, that girl's intriguing. More so than a yodi son at any rate. I think she'll actually turn out to be a decent rival. And I'm pretty stoked about that. What? So you're only interested in her because you think she'll be a better rival than a yodi? Course. Well, still doesn't mean she could ever beat us or anything, Natch. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here, dude. Bye bye I fucking hate that kid. 
Whatever gods rule the idle universe, they certainly see fit to make our journey to the top as painful as possible, don't they? I hear you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, producer, it's been three minutes, so I'm coming back over there now, okay? I hear you girls giggling over there. <laughs> I literally was like protective over Cosmi, going like, oh my god, he's exploding. <laughs> That's exactly how I imagine Hana being to anybody. Mostly Toa that wants to talk to Kakami that way. It's like, how dare you say something like that? So, I was trying to protect Yayui, and I only made someone else protective of her from me. Let's just say I went Iori mode and go like, I am protecting my friend! You know what? Well, yeah, I can accept that. That yes. might that might be a character flaw of Hana's. It's like, mm -hmm. um, sorry I interrupted your conversation earlier. I just started getting anxious all of a sudden, so I. Well, I don't blame you for that. I'm sorry too, for being so on edge. Jupiter's presentation tonight was pretty unsettling. Jupi oh, you mean the group that showed a Kunzin? In. 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 <laughs> uh, no, I'm not all that worried about them, actually. It's just, um, the fact that Iori-chan's not on the ship with us right now, I, I just can't stop thinking about it, and it's making me all... Uh, yeah, having been working side by side with such a close rival for so long, I bet it feels like having part of your heart ripped out now that she's gone. I'm sorry, you must be lonely. No, that's not true! I, I mean, you and the other girls from the unit are all here with me, so there is no way I could be... So you say, but... Lately, you haven't quite seemed like yourself, Yayoi. It's like... Like sometimes you'll fall into a depressed state all of a sudden, and... Ah! No! No! I have been getting depressed! But... but... my high energy is supposed to be my main feature, and... I, I'm sorry! No, Yayoi, it's nothing to apologize for. You're allowed to exist outside of your job as an idol, you know. Everyone has times when they just... Don't feel all that into it. Uh, let's talk about something else. Uh, uh, so did that? Did you know the Shodokun and that Tomasan guy we met before are in a unit together? No. Wait, you mean you hadn't figured that out already? That was Toma singing on the deck out there. You didn't see him? Uh, it was. I'm sorry. You're right. I haven't been as good at concentrating on things lately, I think. Maybe I'm no good anymore. Assuming, of course, you were ever any good, Takatsuki-kun of 765 production, which is incidentally the number of nanoseconds you have left to be alive! Oh, I've had enough of you people! No one asked for your opinions or your unnecessary remarks! <laughs> You always did insist on sticking in my crawl, which is admittedly fitting of whatever charity case would willingly serve as Takagi's lapdog. The dog takes after its master, indeed. I didn't understand some of those words, but they all seemed like you were trying to be mean. <laughs> But at long last, I no longer have a reason to care for the long overdue cessation of your sullying of my field of vision is now a simple matter of time. <laughs> what makes you so sure of that? <laughs> Even you had to have noticed it, yes. The sheer overwhelming power of the performance given by my own handcrafted Jupiter Overflowing talent, unparalleled ability, flawless glamour. Yes, there can be no doubt. No other unit in existence could dare approach their worthiness to be the top idols. No 
go away. I don't want to be thinking that. It's like he can see right through me. But why not decline your nomination now while well, you still have the chance? There's no need to rush headlong into battle and purposefully claim the lifelong, reprehensible shame awaiting you when you lose! Why? Why can't I think of anything to retort with? We will never decline it! Hmm... What? Yayoi? We all had to work so hard for so many months to get to where we are now. We had good times and sad times and tough times, but we got through it all together. We encouraged each other, cooperated with each other, and producer did more than we would have ever imagined to support us and teach us all kinds of things. And that's what got us this far. We owe it to our fans, our families, and our friends who all love us, and especially Iyori-chan and her group, to not ever decline our, denom our nomination. Shut up. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Um, when Yayui goes up to accept on, on the stage to accept the nomination in the cutscene before this, she mm -hmm. actually does screw up the word nomination. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her go. I'm ashamed to have hesitated for even a moment. All of us feel the same way, Kuroi. You're just gonna have to accept that. <sighs> Pointlessly long story short, you would prefer to have to do this the hardest way possible. Fine, whatever. I suppose we can't all possess the good judgment to have not been born stupid. Go ahead and lose, then. Then, once you're drowning in the abyssal depths of odium and despair, perhaps you'll finally learn to curse your luckless, incompetent existence for the abomination that it is. <laughs> ha! Ah, producer, that was so scary. My hands are still shaking. It's okay now, Yayoi. Honestly, that was incredible. You shouldn't have had to tell him off for me, and I'm really grateful that you did, but... You know... I still don't want you to overexert yourself, okay? Not if talking to Kuroi is scary enough to make your hand shake. And that's not all. When you called me on the phone the other night, tell me. Was it because you've been getting anxious, having to be at home without your parents all the time? Mm -hmm. Yayoi, could you answer me, please? I... I still don't really know why for myself. I just know I have all these kind of... sad gloomy feelings swirling around inside me. Like about Yugo Komachi. When I got that phone call from Iori, I really wanted to do more to try and cheer her up, if I could, but... Yayoi, I know this will be a difficult conversation to have, but I really think it's something we need to seriously consider at this point. Isn't it getting to be a bit too much? I mean... As it is, your parents are always home so late that you're the only one there to take care of all your siblings. And you've been having to juggle that with at least as much work as an idol. Which goes double for the leader of a unit. And on top of all that, now you have to deal with Yori having been excluded from the Grand Prix? You always say that you'll be fine, and it's just the way things have to be, but... Each person has a limit to how much they can handle. reached my own limit? Well, to be blunt, yes. Uh, I'm just saying, if worse comes to worst, I wouldn't consider it an unreasonable proposition to substitute leaders until after the Grand Prix. I 
know that's how you feel but it's just not healthy for you to keep this up i really think it would be better if we could take at least a little bit of that responsibility off your plate <laughs> maybe now's the time to play my trump card if she still doesn't feel like she's at her limit after i tell her that then There'd be no point arguing any further. Producer, you don't have to worry about me. Really, I'll be all right. See? Look at me. Healthy and steamy as a sausage in the microwave. <laughs> so I see. All right, then. But before I take your word for it, Yayui, there's one more thing we need to talk about. If, after hearing it, you still feel the same way you do now, then I'll trust you and drop the whole leader substitution thing. But if you hear it and start thinking the pressure might be too much for you to take anymore, then I want you to tell me. Don't worry about being polite. Be honest. Go against the instinct not to burden other people with your problems and tell me right away. Do you promise? Uh, you're kind of making me a little nervous, producer. But okay, I promise. Don't worry. Whatever it is, I, I know it's nothing I can't handle. All I want is for you girls to be able to enjoy your jobs. I would never want to make this a more painful experience for you than... Well, than it has to be. Now, would you go get changed and meet me off the ship with the others? We'll discuss it with everyone. Okay. I'll be alright, you know. I absolutely, positively won't ever change my mind. anything like that could happen, because... <clears throat> Hollywood is extremely far away. To even get between here and there, you have to fly in a plane all day. Uh, oh no! That means you're not going to get to come over to my house for dinner or anything anymore either! That's right. Now do you see what I was getting at, when I said we had one more thing to talk about first? I never imagined that whatever you were going to tell us would be anything like this! I'm sorry, Ayui. At the very least, her term ends with the Grand Prix, and I won't be able to see you at all for a whole year. But even then, it's not like we can never- it's not like we can never ever see each other again. Yeah, I guess. Okay, I understand. I'll be sad, but I'll still be alright. I, I won't change my mind. Can I really take her word for it? Or does she just not want me to worry? The way she said it is worrying enough. In that case, I need you to prove it to me. Can I get an uh uh Yayoi? If you really true if you really and truly will be alright, can you give my Hollywood trip your official seal of approval? Um uh, what? That um uh, uh, is kinda just something I like to say, producer. It's not meant to be anything formal or official. Uh, oh, really? But I thought for sure whenever you're excited about or you agree with something that was your all purpose? Never mind, I guess it's not that important now. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's my fault for saddling you with all this when, even at the best of times, you're already so taxed. You're a kind girl, Yayui, and you have a strong sense of responsibility. But 
I really feel like that, combined with all this stuff you have to deal with, might be starting to weigh you down. If we really need to substitute leaders... <laughs> no, producer. I'm really gonna be alright, honest. Even while you're gone, I can hold down the fort here for you with everyone. So please, you can feel good about leaving things to us for a year. This is a rocky house you've built. No, wait! Uh, you built this house on the rock. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Yayui. If you're still that determined to see this through to the end, then I won't say anything anymore. Yayui, her family, the unit, the Yori situation, and now my absence. She's taking all of it upon herself, yet she still refuses to give up. <clears throat> Alright, should be more than halfway through by this point. want to stop, tell us, and we'll move on to another night. I think I'm alright for right now. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah, we, uh, gets kind of a break in this scene eventually. More Shota. <clears throat> another day over without incident, but is it okay to feel like there haven't been enough incidents? Ever since I broke the news about Hollywood to the girls, I see Yayoi putting so much effort into everything still, and can't help but wonder if something's about to burst. I know I decided to trust in her perseverance and potential, but it still makes me worry sometimes. Yayui, what is it? I thought you would have been on your way home by now. <laughs> Actually, I just wanted to invite you to a party this Sunday. We're giving a cheer up Yori chan and Ryugu Kamachi party. A cheer up Yori party, huh? Uh, yes. When Yori and I last spoke, she did mention Yayui suddenly inviting her to a party. It's gonna be at this prestigious corporation place or something. Here's an invite card. Please read it. Prestigious corp... Yayui! You're renting out a banquet hall from one of the highest ranked companies in Japan! How... Why did you decide on that? Uh, there's this super stew-something person named Shindo-san at Yori-chan's house who knows everything about her. I went to ask him about throwing her a party. <laughs> Secretly from her, of course. I was asking him all the questions about what she likes and stuff because I wanted to know how to make her happy. And Shindo-san, he seemed really happy himself to hear that, and he offered to help out with the guest list and getting a location and all kinds of stuff. That's how we got such a great place. I see. So you were talking to her steward. Well, if he's helping out, that means you don't have as much work to do, right? I did say it'd be good for you to take it easy once in a while. Uh-huh, but I'm still hard at work because I'm the one handing out all the invites. I still have to give cards to Azusa-san, the president, and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Now she's personally handing out RSVPs to people one by one on top of everything else she has to do all day? Uh, maybe this calls for an intervention. <clears throat> um, you know, Yayui... No. I said I'd trust her, and I do. That's really impressive. You're always such a hard worker. You must really want to throw that party for her. Yeah! Even if it wasn't anything so fancy, though, it'd be fine. I'm happy just as long as we all get to eat together, I think. <laughs> just eating together, huh? Yep, yeah, I hear you. That's pretty much what the parties of yours that I've experienced have amounted to, and they're still fun. Producer-san, please make sure you read that card. 
Hey, wait, yeah, we. I admire your work ethic, but be re remember to <coughs> remember to be mindful of your limits. And I'm talking to the air. <clears throat> but hey, at least she seems to be having fun. Maybe once the party proper happens, it'll be a rare opportunity for her to finally unwind and take a breather. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Uh, Sure. What the? Oh, come on! Location aside, I thought this would be just a friendly, casual Yayui party! What's with the throng of suits? And that... over there... is that the Prime Minister? No, there's just no way in hell... Hey you! You showed up! <sighs> This is so tiring. This is sad. There's that. There's way too many people here. I haven't been able to find anyone from 765 to talk to at all. I suppose you'll do. You'll have to. Yori! Um. Hello? And not only that, every time I try to do so much as walk across the room, so many people call out to me on the way that I can scarcely move an inch. <laughs> right. Um, can, can I just say how much I wasn't expecting this party to be such a formal jet black tie affair? What are you talking about? This is casual. Look at me. I dressed down to, uh, I'm dressed down and it doesn't even matter. If we were at my house, that would be unthinkable. <sighs> What's unthinkable is crossing over whatever barrier separates you people from a commoner like me, I think. But anyway, you haven't seen Yayui around, have you? I haven't been able to find her anywhere. I would imagine she was quite a bit on her, uh, quite a bit on her plate at the moment, being the hostess and all, but it does seem like she's started to go back to her usual self lately. You know, you can actually be half reliable when you want to be. Don't look at me, that's... Hmm? Nothing, I just level. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me, that's just who Yayoi is. She's always had it in her. I didn't do anything special. Something tells me there is more to it than you, uh, than you're letting on. But whatever, you just, you should just try to take it easy and enjoy yourself for once. Today, uh, today of all days. <laughs> it's in C. She's. That's not what that says. Uh, see you, Bob. Alexia. See you. See you. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. You see too. Thank you. <laughs> and I thought Yayui was nearing her breaking point before. But here she is, taking charge of this huge party on top of everything else, and her best friend still says she's back to her usual self. Evidently, I haven't yet learned to imagine well enough just how incredible Yayui really is. God! Yayui ran the bathroom. Yeah, he's oh. back and is running around doing things. It's not me. Yeah, okay. I guess we'll just wait for her to be done at the party. <laughs> wait to run into her at the party. memories of Yayoi's route because mm. just like uh, you and I do Kage uh, uh, every time I posted a Yayoi video Kagami and I would watch it together mm. Getting to know her and having the uh, 
figure of a little sister in my life again really helped me to uh, bring out the emotion of this story in my writing, I think. Mm. Yeah. Like, having a girlfriend helped me bring out Chihaya, even though I didn't technically have one yet. I was to say, we didn't start dating till towards the end of Chihaya. Yeah, but we were still getting to know each other towards, like, the middle. Yeah. And already treating each other like we were dating. Even though I was still crap at writing back then. But that's okay. That's what the remasters are for. <laughs> I've come to dread killing my voice with Kuroi. Yeah, anyone would with that evil person. <laughs> You're really good at it, though. Have you gotten any upvotes for that Idol Master anime, though? Uh, four, last time I checked. I got but... a couple Chihaya. I'm also the only one who's gone out for Kuroi. Part of me really hopes you get the producer, though. Mm, yeah. There's competition. But it's up to the director. Yeah. I'm sad that they self-cast for Miki. No. I have to send you the link if you want to go out for Iori. Yeah. Well, they haven't cast for the music yet. True. And it's still running. I'll send you the link. Yes. No. I cast you for Miki. You got to spend two whole nights doing her. <laughs> Lucky you. As she, as the girl herself Why? would say, Why? I'm sure. <laughs> Miki doesn't give just anyone the I don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> Miki doesn't give just anyone the privilege of doing her for two whole nights, no no. I do myself and just sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Nana! <laughs> we just looked really messed up here while you were gone. <laughs> Val, we for some reason, we're like, Miki does herself for line. two nights sleeping. <clears throat> ah! Producer! <laughs> I'm so happy I finally found you! Yeah, Yui! I'm so glad you're doing all right. In fact, you seem a lot better than all right. Way better than I'd have expected for not being used to hosting parties of this size. Uh-huh. But the Yoni-chan's really happy with it, and everyone else from the agency said they're having fun too. And all that fun and happiness goes all the way around and explodes back into me to keep giving me more and more energy. Oh, and the food is really super tasty too. I see. That's always been one of the best things about Yayoi. Even if something's got her down, simply making other people happy will cheer her right back up. Oh hey! It's Yayoi-chan and the 765 dude! What a curious coincidence that we'd happen to run, any, run, to, run into it. That we'd happen to run into each other here, am I right? For crying out loud, what are you doing here, Shota? Uh, what do you mean, what am I doing here? We got RSVPs in the mail at 961, so of course I was gonna show up. Thanks for that, by the way. Oh my god. I know you want blue blood suits to fill out your ginormous fancy party, Shindo, but 961 Production is not a name that belongs on any guest list. <laughs> Good afternoon, 
Hey, uh, Yayui-chan? You sure you should be loafing around like this? Don't you have tons of other people to greet, hostess? Yeah. yeah. And there's a lot of other stuff I have to do, so... I was just taking a short break. Pisha! <laughs> Pretty sloppy of you not to make better use of a rare chance like this. Yes, you guys really can't hold a candle to us after all. Damn shame. You shut your damn mouth. Yayui is entirely unused to the challenge of hosting a formal business party like this, but she is trying her hardest at it anyway. And do you know why? She's not doing it for your approval. She's here to cheer up her best friend. The last thing she needs is for you to waltz up and thoughtlessly make fun of her when she's... Um, producer, I just remembered... I was gonna go greet those TV station people or something. Let's, let's see you later. Wait, Yayui! God damn it, now you've done it! Look, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it to her. You can take it up with me if you must. <laughs> Chill out, dude! When are you gonna learn to get a lid on that temper? It's cool that she wants to make her friend happy, but... Way I see it, you ain't gonna make it far in this business if you can't also take a more mature, practical attitude towards these things, you know? All I wanted was to give her a friendly warning. And again, if she couldn't even figure out that much for herself by now, I'm sorry to say she's already finished. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You think she's finished? You think you've got her all figured out? <laughs> Please. If you even understood the first thing about her, you never would have thought any of that. Huh? Dude, where'd all that confidence come from all of a sudden? You guys saying you still got some kind of ace up your sleeve? <laughs> Why don't we step outside for a bit? And I'll show you exactly what kind of girl you're dealing with. You owe Yayui that much. Ooh, take this outside, eh? Seems intriguing enough, I guess. Sure, I'm game. What are you eating? Well, I can smell them. It's red buffalo and Doritos. Good lord. <laughs> Stop eating your Doritos. We're here. I wanted you to show. <laughs> I wanted to show you this construction site. Oh, should I be shown to that too? No. <laughs> that was, Stop. You don't, can't do the right boy voice. For I that. know. <laughs> it's so weird. Where did she go? I don't know. She pooped. Wait, Kagami's gone. Again. Maybe uh. The, the Doritos were making her... Oh, no, they're hungry. She, went, her she hungry. went to get a snack. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> computer bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing that my Doritos caused you to have your Doritos. My Doritos smell better. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are. Both they're... of them smell gross. Nah. I can't munch. I have to control the script. You can munch one-handed. Go, Go ahead, producer. Stop. We're here. I wanted to show you this construction site. Do you know what's going to be here when it's finished? Hmm? Uh, some kind of building, I guess? More like, if you got a point to make by bringing me out here to look at this place, I sure don't get it. Well, be patient, and I'll get to that. Normally, no, you couldn't tell just by looking what's being put up here or what it's for. I have no idea either, of course. But in my mind, that just makes looking at it even more appealing and fascinating. Huh? Dude, dude, have you completely lost it? You definitely lost me. I got no clue what you're trying to say anymore. The point is, Yayui is just like that building under construction. We haven't seen all of what she can do yet. She's not finished. 
but every day, rain or shine, she's out there working frantically to build herself up solid, higher and higher. And all the energy she puts into it comes back to her tenfold with every cheer of a fan and every smile of a friend. As long as she has them, she will never stop building. It's right there in her name, even. Yayui. Life abounding. The third month of the lunar calendar. The time when everything just keeps growing and growing and growing. All that growth. Isn't it so exciting to think about? How high can she keep building? How tall will she stand in the end? <laughs> yeah, well, make one mistake in all that construction and you end up with nothing but a dud fit only for demolition, don't you think? That's true of anyone at anything. But it's not going to happen to Yayoi. She has one architect who will absolutely see to that. She has me. I'll never let her down. <laughs> you think you're all that in a bag of chips? Intriguing enough, I guess. At least now I finally get your point, dude, so bye! <clears throat> it's funny, but talking it out with Shota kinda helped me clear my own head and refocus myself on what I need to be doing for Yayui right now. I'm starting to wonder if he really deserves so much contempt from me. I'm sure he has a chronic attitude problem and treats the girls like disposable rivals while pretending to be their friend, but is it really out of sheer malicious duplicity, or does he just not know any better? Like a lonely farm boy making friends with the livestock. No, oh, it's pretty fucked up either way. Ah, <sighs> my god. I can't believe I'm at this big fancy party and I wasted so much time talking to that kid of all people. Oh, Yayui! Are you still going around talking to people? You really don't have to overexert yourself, you know, again, despite what Shota says. That kid's no different than Toma. You can't take any of what he says seriously. No. No, I'm done saying hi to people now. And Shota can't... He came over a little while ago to apologize, actually. But he said stuff like it was wrong of me to impose my opinion, and I thought I was looking at a finished product when I wasn't. It was hard to understand. Huh. I did give him a piece of my mind earlier, and it seems like he might have actually taken some of what I said to heart. Oh. It did make me nervous when he called me sloppy earlier, though. It hit me just... A little too hard. Yes, I could almost see the speech bubble piercing you through the chest. Can you tell me why? Uh, because it reminded me of how sloppy I used to be. I would always try so hard at my jobs and want so badly to do everything right, but I panic and get all careless. But ever since you came along, you've been there to help me, and... Well... Thanks to you, I've learned how to keep up that same energy while still being careful enough to do everything properly. But that's only when... that's only with you. Whenever I have to try... My, my, whenever I have to try on my own again, I still end up not being good enough at it. <clears throat> is there a problem with that? It doesn't say anything bad about you if my guidance is what it takes for you to properly focus your energy. That's kind of what I'm here for. You won't be your producer. And when I think that, it makes me feel like I have to work extra, extra hard to make up for it, and then... <clears throat> yes but... I'm such a dummy. All this time, it's only because you were here that I've been able to keep my energy focused and be a good idol. But I was too stupid to ever realize it. Don't say that, Yayui. You're not stupid. I should think I know you well enough to know that. I also know that even if we can't be together for a little while, you'll... Um, uh, thanks. I'm fine now. Sorry if I said anything weird. I'm, uh, I'm gonna walk around some more. Uh, yeah, we... <sighs> Just when she had finally cheered back up a little. 
One careless word from that asshole's got her on edge again. I need to hurry up and figure out what I can do for her in the time I have left with her. If I ever want to see her realize her potential and build up to the full glory of her completed form one day. <clears throat> Did we lose somebody? No. Okay. We went to get a drink and then she came back. Yep. Oh. Back. Finally, next week is our decisive battle with Jupiter. We really need to make sure we come out with our best performance if we don't want to get knocked down a peg for the Grand Prix. Although, one thing is still worrying me. Ever since that party, I haven't really had a good chance to sit down and talk things out with Yayoi. I'm such a dummy! All this time, it's only because you were here that I've been able to keep my energy focused and be a good idol. But I was too stupid to ever realize it. Just what sort of feelings does she have buried deep down that could have possibly possessed her to say something like that? Well, I've gone I've gone long enough without finding out. I'm gonna try calling her up right now. Beep 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 beep. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a mess beep doop. What? It didn't even ring. Ugh, did that girl turn her cell phone off? All right, I can still try calling her house phone, I guess. Maybe I'd be overstepping myself a little, but there's no other option. I know I have the number here somewhere. Beep, 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 beep. Hello? Is that you, sis? Um, why don't we let Kage do Kasumi? She doesn't have any voices. It's fine. Ah. Okay. Um, hello, is that you, Kasumi-chan? This is Hana Utai, your sister's producer. Do you remember me? Oh, oh, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I was so sure it must have been my sister calling. D don't worry about it. Is something wrong? Has yet? Has your sister not come home yet? N no, she hasn't. Um. Damn it, what is going on? Yeah, we left over two hours ago. There's no way she wouldn't be home by now under normal circumstances. D don't, don't worry, Kasumi-chan. Yayoi's like a sister to me, too. I'll go find her and bring her home. But in order to do that, I need you to keep calm and wait for us at your house. Would you do that for me, please? You really mean it? Yeah. Yes, we'll wait. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. See you in a bit. Bidoop. Yeah. Alright, now that I'm done having to be strong for the kids, I am seriously worried. What on earth happened to her? Where do we even start looking for her? Wait! The shopping district! It's always possible she caught wind of a sudden sale and went to check it out, right? Little bargain hunter that she is. Yayoi! <sighs> Damn it. No matter where I look, I can't find a trace of her. But I've hardly looked everywhere yet. I just have to try as many places as I can think of. Yayoi! Where are you? And in my blind rush, I ended up all the way out here. Could I really expect to find her in... <gasps> Wait! That's... That's her! Yayoi! Hey! Yayoi! P producer? Uh, uh, wh why are you here? <sighs> what do you think? I'm out looking for you! I'm just so glad to see you safe! Seriously, Yayoi, I'm upset! Why is your cell turned off? I've been trying to reach you on it. It's... what? Ah! Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot I turned it off after we finished work. 
I was really, really worried, you know? You know? I couldn't get in touch with you, and I didn't know if something happened to you. Yes, sir. What are you doing away from home so late, Yayui? I didn't think you were the sort of kid to go out wandering around at night. Ugh. will be announced and I got so anxious all of a sudden and uh. Yeah, Yui. Don't tell me you don't think we're going to win. Where's your self confidence? Uh, no, it's not that. I mean I know we're definitely gonna win. Leave all of us together to help make sure of it, so we'll be fine. It's just uh, well, what happens after that I guess? Like what am I supposed to do on my own, or how am I going to make it? Yayoi. Uh, producer, you made me the leader, and I've been trying to be a good one, but I still not might not be as good or reliable a leader as I should be, I think. And that goes for at home, too. Everyone's relying on me, because I'm the big sister, and I know I have to act like it to support them. But if I'm being honest with myself, there are still a lot of times when I'll just start to get sad, or worried, or lonely. But I, I can! I'm a leader! And a big star! I have to always be myself to a big sister! Sorry. I'm a leader and a big sister! I have to always keep myself together and always do everything that's expected of me perfectly! And if I don't, then nothing's gonna work out! So, all this time, that's what's been going through your mind. I can't be perfect! But that's been okay until now, because I can still do my best! And you've always been there to help me when my best wasn't good enough, but from now on... Producer, please tell me! If you're not there to help me, then how? How can I make sure my best is good enough to stay with everyone? Yayoi, there's a certain favor I asked of you once, a long, long time ago now. I asked you to think of me as family. Do you remember that? I remember. You asked me that the first time you came over my house. We've been working together for a year now. And this whole time you've completely astounded me. I've seen how hard you work for your unit every day. I've seen how much just being around you and talking to you cheers up your friends while you go out of your way to cheer them up even more. I've seen you do so much to take care of your younger siblings as to practically be a third parent. I've seen you treat everyone you meet with the utmost respect, even our nastiest rivals. And no matter what life has thrown at you, I've watched you never back down, just gritting your teeth and bearing it all alone, even when it was too much. Courtesy. Generosity, responsibility, fortitude, determination, energy. You've shown me so much. So much that you feel like a sister to me. But there is one thing I've never seen you do. You are the shoulder that everyone else leans on. But who do you go to when you need someone to lean on? I want... I want to be that figure you've never had, Yayui. If it's not too much to ask. I want to be... I want... I want you to think of me as your big brother. This is my answer to you, Yayui. Your best is good enough. It always has been. You may not have been thinking about it, but your best is everything I just told you and more, and it's better than you think it is. 
But yes, nobody's perfect, and I know there will still be things you can't deal with on your own from time to time. But that's okay, because you can just call your big brother up and talk to him about it. I'll still help you, no matter how far away I am. That's what family does for each other. I'll always be there for you, Yayoi. I promise. No matter what happens, my love for you will never, ever change. In that moment, every last wall Yayoi had put up came crashing down. She rushed forward, threw her arms around my waist, and cried profusely into my chest. And I just held her and waited while she wrung herself dry of the tears she'd been holding inside this whole time. All the time she never got to spend as an actual kid. Well, have you settled down now? Uh, uh -huh. That doesn't look like you're finished crying to me just yet. <sighs> Thank goodness. <laughs> I finally managed to find the actual kid in you. Honestly, no matter how many times I hear you suddenly yell like that, I'm never ready for it. I, I don't think I've told anybody at home where I am. This is bad. Kazumi must be so worried about me right now and everybody else and... Uh, oh, they'll be fine, don't worry. I called Kasumi-chan at your house earlier and told her I'd find you and bring you home. You did? Really? Oh, that's a relief. There I go again. About to make another panicky mistake if not for you. Hey, none of that. You're good, Yayoi, trust me. Life is just boring if you don't mess up at least once in a while. Now, isn't it about time we were getting you home? Uh, um, if my siblings aren't gonna worry too much, then could we. Is it alright if maybe we stay here just a little longer? Hmm? Well,. I don't particularly mind, of course, but what would you want to stay here for? <laughs> well, it's kind of a routine for me, with such a big family. Whenever I get a brand new sibling, I always like to spend a little extra time with them, you know? And you're right now a producer, so I want to stay with you a little longer. Nietzsche! <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> Well, your brothers did warn me not to spoil you even when you're being cute, but what the hey. I know I'm not going to keep myself in check all the time around such an adorable little sister, especially now that I just got her. In fact, if it'll keep you happy and energetic from now on, even after I'm gone, I don't mind you asking me for anything you want right now. For anything? You really mean it? Uh, okay then. Is it alright if we do our thing? That thing? Um... Oh! Oh, I get it. You want to do that thing, huh? <laughs> of course. I don't mind at all. <laughs> okay then, here we go! High five with my brand new Nichot! Yay! Ow! <laughs> you got pretty good at that. <clears throat> you know, we all love you, Yayoi. Everyone at the office, me included, and all of your fans. And when you love someone, there's nothing you wouldn't want to do for them. You know that feeling, don't you? Next week is our final battle against Jupiter, and I'm going to do everything I can to support you. So... Uh-huh. I love you and never... <coughs> okay. I inhaled Dorito seasoning. Ah. Wow. I love you and everyone, too. So I'm going to do everything I can to win for everyone. That's the spirit. As long as we all work together, nothing can stop us. Uh, uh, I'm all fired up now. There's no way we're not going to win that Grand Prix. There it is. That energy. She's got it back. There's nothing else it can be called but Yayoi energy. 
<coughs> everyone who everyone who sees it feels an an unstoppable urge to move forward and push ahead, herself included. That goes for me too, of course. Seeing her like this makes me want to get as much as I can out of my Hollywood studies and become a become an amazing producer for her. I don't feel like we can possibly lose at this rate. We'll square off against Jupiter next week with our full power, and then we'll definitely take that Grand Prix as a testament to what our combined energy is capable of, and, a, and an encouragement to keep it up for another year. Welcome back, Travis. You're just in time for the final two scenes. Hey, Travis! Hi, Travis! Guy who's fired up now, so she's uh, Dragon Slayer. Natsu! What? No fairy tale. Ah! <clears throat> <sighs> <sighs> the grand final is over. And the girls are on their way home. I didn't go back with them, though. I'm staying out here by myself for a while. I'd like to get at least a little bit of a head start on getting used to being alone again. After all, once I'm in Hollywood, I'll... Hey, producer! So this is where you've been hiding! Huh? Do you have any idea how long you've kept everybody waiting? Notice how the dynamic changes between them starting from this scene. Yayoi's not holding anything back around him anymore. She's once again, dropping all of her Japanese politeness and really treating him like family. Yeah. Y Yayui! What are you talking about? I thought you'd all gone home already. You didn't come all the way out here just to check up on me, did you? Uh, sorry to make you go out of your way if you did, but after you left, I started getting all sentimental and just felt like being alone for a little while. You got sen sen sentimental? Um, does that mean you felt like you were turning into a rock or something? Oh, no, no, that's sedimentary! I said sentimental! It means I... I don't even know what I was doing. After everything that's happened, letting, my letting myself brood over anything kind of feels like a silly waste of time at this point. I'm sorry if I disturbed you, but, um, I'd really like it, you to come with me, right now, producer. Uh, well, uh, when you ask me out of nowhere like that, uh... Uh, alright, alright, fine. I know how pushy you can get at times like this. So, where are we going? <laughs> You'll see when we get there! Come on, we have to hurry! Let's go! Yeah, 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 yeah I, I really prefer to know sooner rather than later so I can- Hey, wait! Yeah, yeah, we wait up, I said! Uh, wait, are we there? Um, um, so it's your house? Uh-huh, we're having a great big celebration party here. Bye. Your chores. Yes. Okay. Please fill up the dog biscuits. Okay. I already did the dog. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Sorry. Hi, One more time, please. Uh, we're having a great big celebration party here tonight. With the whole unit and the whole agency and the whole family. Everybody, everybody is getting together. So you have to be with us too, producer. You told me before it's okay, right? To think of you as my big brother. And since you're family, of course you have to be here for a party like this. Producer? Hold on, hold on, we're one line behind. <laughs> well, fuck. Producer, is something the matter? <laughs> no, nothing's the matter anymore, Yayui. 
Just like I said, silly waste of time. My god, I was being such an idiot. <laughs> get a head get a head start on getting used to being alone, was it? Well, if I had only stopped and thought about it for a second, I would have realized it a long time ago. My little sister Yayoi will always be right here. And as long as we're always in each other's thoughts, I'll never truly be alone again. Hello! Earth the producer! Why are you just staring off into space for? Oh, I know! Maybe you're just hungry? What? Oh, no, I don't think I'm really... <laughs> Wait. Was that your stomach just now, Yayui? Oh, I get it. So you're the one who's hungry. Ugh. Well, that's because I, I haven't had a chance to eat since lunch today. And at the reception earlier, we were way too busy with all the people we had to talk to and everything. So I didn't get to eat any of the food there, either. <laughs> yes, I know. It's just been one of those days. You didn't miss out on much, though, I think. I can't stand that fancy pants reception food. Or, no, you actually like that stuff, don't you? Me, though, I'll take an old-fashioned Yayui party any day of the week. That's what we're all here for, right? To celebrate your grand victory? Well then, we eating or what? Yes, we are! I just called Otanashi-san, and she said she'd bring everybody over from the office at top speed. So they should be on their way. Tonight, we're gonna go all out and splurge on a... Yakiniku. Yakiniku party. So awesome. I can't wait. I hope everyone has lots of fun. Oh, man. Yakiniku, seriously? Wait, 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 wait. Back up. Everyone from the office? You're gonna try to cram that many people into this house? Oh, Yori. Yes. What? Yayoi, uh, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, I'm talking to myself. I am talking to myself. Hold on. <laughs> uh, Yayoi, the gang's all here. Oh, it's Gunny John. Well. Hey, look, guess... you're my spot, but oh well. Well, guess it's too late to argue. G girls, girls, hold on. You're going to destroy the entryway if you try to come in all at once. Whoa. How do you come careful not to trip? The other way, Azusa. You got yourself turned around. God ah! oh, damn it, Ami. You just kicked your shoes into my face. Ugh. That does it! <laughs> I see this stands to be quite a memorable party. In more ways than several. Come on, why don't we go help herd them in? God, everyone really is here. The president, Otanashi-san, Ditsuko and Byugu Komachi, Jihaya, Yukiho, and Hibiki. <laughs> yeah. Was that really in there? No, I I just decided to add a little extra Shout mayhem. Shout out to the original, <laughs> original Honey Odi Uta girls. I wanted to add a little extra mayhem to this scene just for fun. <laughs> just crazy shit. Yeah. In other words, Everybody from the agency. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna be busy tonight, I think. <laughs> no doubt about that. <laughs> you know what? It's all thanks. It's thanks to all the hard work everyone in the whole unit did that we get to relax and have such a fun evening together like this. The more I think about that, the more I want to stay here and keep working with everyone for a long, long time. <laughs> yeah. I'd be really happy if you did, Yayui. I think that would be good for you. I hope you'll stay friends with everyone and keep... What? <laughs> Messed up how I wanted to say that line. I hope you'll stay friends with everyone and keep working together for a long time. Everyone including me, too, of course. So, with Yayui's house probably over its maximum occupancy rating, the girls' celebration party began in earnest. Uh, come on, big sis! Go it over a little more, would ya? Uh, bro, quit moving around so much! Uh, 
Oh wait, that was the girl. <laughs> wow, you girls are scarily good at that. <laughs> um, Mr. Producer Son, was it? You've done so much for our Yayui. How could we ever thank you? <laughs> oh, lighten up a little. We're here to have fun and take a load off tonight. So, everything all set, Yayui? Uh -huh. Okay, everyone, say your thanks and then go ahead and start eating. <laughs> There's plenty more if anyone wants seconds. The Takatsuki House, a bright light in the dark of a tranquil in the dark of a tranquil evening, illuminated even further by Yayoi's brilliant smile. The vibrant, joyous voices of family and friends echoing off every wall of the small living room. <laughs> this month's party turned out a whole lot more fun than usual, I think. Since there are more people over than we've ever had before. Don't you think, producer? I'll see it every time I close my eyes this coming year. And after that, I'm certain there will be any number of days that I get to see it again for real. This yayoi centered garden of smiles. Because I know there's no one better at spreading happiness and energy to others than her. And I know... As long as I'm by her side, even if only in spirit, she'll never stop. <laughs> All done? And thank you for the food! Don't know if you noticed, but you can see when she kicks her leg up there, uh, even though they're ostensibly in her Japanese house, they didn't, the, uh, they didn't bother to uh, remodel her without uh, her shoes. <laughs> Laser. Well, because it takes development resources that would be better spent elsewhere. Amazing. Um, producer, I'm going to keep doing my best with everybody this coming year. So, you too, producer. Work and study as hard as you can in Hollywood. And promise, promise you'll definitely come back home to us next year. But I'm the weird one who notices and nitpicks on those details. I've noticed those too, thank you very much. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I, I meant to say I'm the weird one who nitpicks, but I said notices by mistake. It's a promise, Yayui. I promise I'll definitely come back home next year without fail. That is the aircraft which producer has boarded, is it not? Oh, but that he might yet be able to see us from wherever upon he may sit. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Producer! Thank you! Really, thank you so much for everything you've done for us this year! We'll keep working hard, even while we're apart, and we hope you will too! Fare thee well, Producer! May you ever be in good health. I'll keep ha I'll keep house while you're away. Just please come back as soon as you can, but I mean need to finally made it. It's so soothing to set foot in Japan again. Being in a foreign country has a way of keeping you constantly on edge, even after a whole year. Everything about the experience was still a thrill, though. Thrilling and helpful. I think I've improved substantially. What's more, having kept my ear to the ground for entertainment news from back home, I've heard reports that Hanayori Yuta has continued to flourish. All right, I want to hurry up and see everyone, so I should head back to the office first and let them know I'm back. Ah! Hey, what's the big idea? Look out my face! I can't see... Wait, is that you, Yayoi? Ah! Ah, oh, you got it right before I even got to go guess who! Not fair! <laughs> I knew it was you, though. I could feel you struggling to stay on your tiptoes so you could reach my face. 
Ah, uh, you're always so aware of everything. I thought this would be my one best chance to surprise you, but you still figured it out too easily. Sorry, but it's just something my brain does, especially when it comes to someone I'm so close with. But anyway, uh, hey, I'm back. Uh-huh. Welcome back, producer. <laughs> I've really been looking forward to you coming back for a long, long time. You really wanted to see me again that much. Well, thank you, Yayui. I always knew you were a thoughtful girl. I wanted to see you, too. Uh oh, well, well, yes, of course wanting to see you again was part of it, but it's actually been pretty tough keeping house for you while you've been away, so... What I was really looking forward to was you coming back so you could take over our management again as soon as possible. Wow, it, it's really been that tough? But even in Hollywood, I'd heard news of Hanayori Yuta's continued success. I figured you must be doing pretty well for yourselves, even without me. Isn't that right? No! It's not true at all. We've had so much work coming in, there's no, there's so many schedules to arrange and meetings to go to, and it's been really super tough. Scheduling and meetings? Yayui, do you mean you've been doing all that yourself? Um, oh, hold on. Oh, that's Maruto TV calling. Sorry, producer, you'll, you'll have to give me a minute, please. Uh, what? Hello? Oh, yes, the rehearsal. For the show tomorrow, right? <laughs> there shouldn't be any problem now. Because our producer just came back today. The, the same one I told you about. He'll be able to make all the arrangements for us. Uh-huh. Okay, bye! Uh, what? Huh? Yayoi, what the heck was that about? Are you... Have you been working as a producer? <sighs> no, I'm still only the leader. Everyone helps out with going to meetings and things like that when they can. Just doing what they can for the team. Uh, and when you say the team, are you talking about you, Chihaya, and Takane? Well, not exactly. See, after you left for Hollywood, I brought up the idea that maybe everyone in the agency could work together as a unit. I just thought that that would be tons more fun. Of course, it's not like everyone could possibly work together in a giant group all the time, but I thought if it, could just, if it just took one unit to win the Grand Prix, couldn't we do even better and better if we had all of our units cooperate? I wanted to see what would happen. She, uh, she gets that word wrong specifically. Co-percolate. Mm -hmm. Co-percolate. Better and better if all of our units co-percolate? I wanted to see what would happen. Um, I, uh, I think the word you're looking for there is collaborate, not that, 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 never mind, that's not the main issue here! So, are you trying to tell me all the units and idols at 765 are now collaborating their activities more closely with each other and operating under a single unified label of Hanayori Uta? A, a sort of all for one and one for all kind of deal? One for all! That's exactly right! And if that wasn't enough, even Ritsuko san has gone back to her idol work, which I know you've been dying to see. See? It's like I always said, more people together makes everything more fun! How? The only thing is, it's too many people for me to manage by myself. I've been trying my best, but I'm at my limit. Just thinking about all those schedules makes them blur together and spill out of my head in a swirly drain. Uh, I, uh, I can imagine. Just having to coordinate three people's schedules at once was hard enough for me. Oh god. That's why we decided to split up the team so that I, who first brought up the idea, and Ritsugo san, who's super good at that stuff, would help manage everyone's schedules part time. Um. <clears throat> wow, I never thought I'd be coming home to something like this. I'm at a total loss for words. But, 
now that I think about it, yeah, more people, more fun. Something like this is pretty much exactly what your ideal idol career would have been like all along, isn't it? come home after flying in an airplane all day, and I don't even have time to drop off my luggage before I'm thrust into managing a 13 idle unit? Yep. We've all been a unit for so long. I think at this point the whole agency feels like one big family. And you know what? The whole family is eagerly awaiting to see their big brother again. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, hey, you know what? I think I just remembered I forgot something in America. You're gonna have to let me go back and... Uh, 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 I figured you would build yourself up pretty high one day, and I should be gratified that you've proven me right, but uh, I don't think I ever expected the finished product to be this overwhelming. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not finished just yet, you know. Uh-oh. Come on, producer, what do you say? It's been such a long time, let's do it! <sighs> you really gonna make me do it, huh? Jeez. Well, guess I've got no choice but to accept it now that it's come to this. Alright, Yayui, I promise you have my full commitment. Ready, and... That was cute as fuck! 